I'm going to show you how to change the driver's side seat belt buckle. The tools necessary are a flathead, preferably long, an extension to socket, and wire cutter, and a star bit T45. That's all you need. Uh, usually, when your airbag deploys, it bends in. As you can see, the passenger one is perfectly straight, nothing went wrong, but the driver's side goes in and it bends in. And I'll show you how to change it. So, there's that one bolt, and then there's two wires. So, the T45 goes into this bolt right here, and you just unscrew it. And you can see it's coming out. There's the whole bolt. There's the belt buckle. Now, there may be several ways to do it. This is how I'm going to do it. Um, kind of harder with cord and do it, but with two hands it's easier. I'm put this right here. So you put a seat over there, and you put your hand to the front seat where you can pull on this. You stick your flat head in there, and you want to put it in sideways so that this can be pushed away from the seatbelt buckle, and you pry it out. There you go. That's it. Coming out, and then there's two cables on the top. So now there's uh, these two cables that I need to remove. One of them disconnects right here, and the other one disconnects under the seat. So, um, taking off the bolt was the easy part. This is the hard part, not much room. Uh, as you can see, this little bracket here, I already pulled mine off. You have to pull two of them off so you can free this, therefore, it can come a little higher up towards you. And then that's all the easy stuff. The hard part is getting this little sensor off without breaking it because uh, that wire is good. I'm going sideways. Pick it up a little bit. You don't want to break it off or anything. It just a little bit. So you'll see that clips come up, and then you go with your finger underneath, and you pull up, and there you go. It's off. It is now off. And then there's one more wire that goes under the seat. I'll show you. This cable right here. This is from the back of the seat. It's from the airbag, and it's go down. The front there's a little yellow connector that's where you gotta go I'll show you how to get there in a second so now we're looking from the front of the seat there's this little panel here you want to kind of pick up with your fingers without breaking it it'll break free it comes out here goes this little yellow thing right here I'll show you how to take that off as you can see that skinny cable right there this cable right there is from the airbag you have to push down here and it'll pick up and then the back part needs to pick up I'll show you in a second okay so here you go as you can see this little piece is going to be down here, you're going to push in and pick it up and all you got to do is push, pull out the back piece. Now there's another bigger cable here, you have to free up with your fingers, take a flashlight, wiggle it out until it comes, becomes really free, then you can pull the whole thing forward, kind of hard working upside down. And the skinny wire right here. That's the one we're going to change, and I'll show you in a few seconds, let me... This black case, to get that off... No, I'm trying to get it focused better. There are these little things on this side, and on this side. I removed it, I want to put the camera down. I'm going to try to pull forward, but it won't go because they have this little 
thing here. You gotta use a wire cutter to cut it off. And again, I need my two hands to do that. All right, so I just used my uh, two hands to cut this thing off. And throw it away. And this black plastic comes off. And here goes all of your stuff. Again, we're trying to follow this uh, skinnier cable so it connects into there. Bam! There it goes. Just remember where it goes. <laughs> I mean, there's only one slot to put it back in. It's right underneath this black thing. So back at the top. Now that all the cables are free, bolts off. You can pull this out without ripping anything or breaking anything. Now, this one cable that was on the top in that yellow thing has to come off these brackets but try not to let it drop down because you will need it for the new seat belt buckle okay so that's the old one now here goes the new one Okay, so I'll show you what I just did, because you need two hands to do it. So I, on the new one, I put the skinnier wire closer in and a thicker wire on top to hold it in place. Then once again, you want to pop that little bracket open and you want to carefully put it in. And now push the cable down. Try not to damage your interior. Alright. Now we'll go back in the front seat and connect it all. There goes my little cable. I don't want it to go back the way it came, the way it was. I'm gonna put this down for a second. I ran that skinny wire through, plugged it in where it has to go. You push it in pretty good, it's in. Now we have to put this cap back on. This doesn't usually take as long if you have two hands and you know what you're doing, it's a little quicker than this. Now we put it back into the little hole in the back. Right there. You can see the oh, This thing goes, here it goes. Bam, it's in. Look at that little clip I was talking about. So, put all the wires back like they were under these little brackets to hold the wire in place. So you gotta make sure all the wires are buried below this bar. And then these little clips. One. And then you can wrap it into place. Now in the back seat. I'm not even gonna use any kind of screwdriver to adjust it because it kind of goes in itself. You can see this metal piece. You just want to push it down, pull it down, and then it'll eventually clip in itself. Piece of cake, easy. Get your bolt and move it into place. Uh, hard to do stuff with one hand. Basically, you get the idea. You need two hands. <laughs> And you tighten it in, and that's it. That's how it's done. Easy as that. After tightening it up really well, we can go in the front seat and check it out. And there it goes. 
new seatbelt buckle. Oh, push it. You want to push that little bracket that holds the two cables on it. Yeah. Good as new. Just what the dealer would do.